Hello my friends, Runer again from Oslo, Norway. A friend of mine uh, traded my old HDR50 a couple of years ago and uh, he said he no longer found a need for it and I has only tested it a few, with a few shots. Asked me if I wanted to buy it back cheap and sure I did. It has, uh, it is the 7.5 fuel version, you can see the F there. I bought it uh, new back in 2018 and this one is, uh, since it's one of the first one, it has the screwed in CO2 tube. So uh, the risk of uh, ruining the CO2 tube is very little. So uh, I also have tuning barrel and the power kit 50 from homedefense24.com so I thought okay let's try it out let's see uh, what sort of uh, power it will give I have another uh, 7.5 fuel version uh, that my friend NS sent to me some time ago and uh, I used that with the T4E barrel set but now let's uh, try it out with the uh, tuning barrel and I have a uh, devil spike chrome steel 6.5 gram lots of threads there is in the bottom these are also from home defense 24 and they fit uh, nice and uh, snug inside the cylinder. Looks like so pointy and it has a shallow hollow base. So 6.5 gram. I hope my extra crony works and give us some crony numbers today. The Caldwell Crony needs uh, special lights in order to work, so, uh, at least indoors. <coughs> so, uh, well, let's see how it goes. Since I haven't used it for some time, let me put some uh, silicone oil down on the bolt there, down the CO2 tube. And I'm not sure how much oil, if any, he used. So uh, I'll put some silicone grease on that uh, green o ring there to help seal everything up, just in case. And as always, Umarex, so that you can sir. Tip goes outwards. I have shitty arthritis fingers. Otherwise, I would not recommend use uh, the Allen key. But I have a st I'm struggling uh, tightening it down. There it's in the bottom part. Back it off a tiny bit. Let's put in the cylinder. It is not gasser up yet. Seems to index just fine. So let's check the temperature and uh, then see what sort of chrono numbers it gives. One moment. Temperature seems to be 21.5 degrees Celsius, about 60. 68, 69 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So, 7.5 fuel version with the tuning barrel and the power kit from Home Defense 24. And uh, the steel slugs 6.5 gram also from Home Defense 24. So, let's see if it punctures the CO2 canister. 
extrude it, pop it straight out. Let's also see how many shots I can get from it. Maybe I can use my normal trigger finger for pulling the trigger. Sure could. 300 feet per second. And here's the slug. Trigger feels, feels better on this uh, revolver. So let's see, shot number two. Two ninety four. And that one, my friends, penetrated the uh, jeans. So let's try again. Hottest so far, 307. Ooh, even hotter, 312. Again, two ninety six and one more two eighty. So, uh, let me do a little reload. Load it up again. Same slugs. Two seventy two. Still good power. Two seventy two again. Starts dropping two sixty three. Two fifty five. That one shot the hole into the birds. My jeans got a whole lot of holes. That was four shots, so ten in total. Let's see, this will be shot number eleven. Two forty four, and from the sound of it, the revolver seems to be getting low on CO two gas. So one more shot, and then I will uh, stop. Yeah, <laughs> that was the last from the CO two canister. One eighty five. So yeah, I dry fired it two more times, and. Uh, then it wouldn't recock. So you get two cylinders with this setup from one cell to canister. So uh, I'm very glad I bought it back. And it works great. No leaks or anything. I 
Uh, let's see the two canisters are a bit stuck in there because of the cool down effect. I will have to use a pair of pliers or just wait five minutes and then it will drop out by itself. So yeah. Make sure you check out uh, Florian Cerner's website homedefense24.com for uh, all these types of uh, tuning products. He also has uh, HPA setup, rear buttstock adapter, etc. etc. So uh, I will make more videos soon. So stay tuned for more videos. Hope you like this one. Thank you for watching.